When it was revealed that the OS X El Capitan Safari browser would have pinned tabs, many people probably thought to themselves, well, that's nothing new. Finally, Apple's catching up, right? Because you could pin tabs in Google Chrome for who knows how long, as you see right here. But really, the similarities in there. In this video, I'm going to show you some really cool things that pin tabs are capable of in OS X El Capitan's Safari browser. Now, like other browsers, you can easily pin a tab just by right-clicking on the tab you want to pin and select Pin Tab. And to unpin that tab, you just right-click on that same tab and select Unpin Tab. But with Safari, you can actually pin a tab by just simply clicking and dragging a tab to the left, just like this. And you can quickly pin a tab, just like that. So you can see I'm quickly pinning these tabs without right-clicking. And if I want to unpin the tabs, guess what? I just drag to the right instead of to the left, and I can quickly unpin those tabs as well. One of the key differences with pin tabs in Safari is that they are persistent across all windows and even when you close out a Safari and reopen it. So let me just show you what I mean right here. So I'm going to pin this tab, I'm going to pin this one as well. So I have two tabs pinned. Now guess what happens when I open up a new window? All right, I'm just going to do a command N, open up a new tab, and look, those tabs are persistent across windows. So you can see I can access those tabs from anywhere, no matter where Safari is or what window I'm in, I can always quickly access those tabs. I can even put it on a new desktop and access those same tabs. But not only that, if I close out of Safari completely, I'm going to use a command Q to, to quit out of Safari completely, and I'm going to reopen Safari. And you can see those pin tabs are right there. They are persistent even when closing out of Safari completely. But that's not where it ends. You could actually sync content in pin tabs across multiple windows, and that includes video. So let me show you what I mean here. This is really, really cool. This is probably my favorite part of pin tabs. So I'm going to open up a new window, open up a new tab, and you can see my pin tabs there. So I have pin tabs here, pin tabs in this window. All right, so watch what happens. I'm going to go back to this window. Here's iDownloadBlog's website. You can see I'm on the home page. Now I'm going to go back to this pin tab here on this window. And you can see this kind of gray out in the background. That's because these tabs are syncing together. So anything I do here, it will be synced back to this window here. So I'm going to just scroll down like this and watch what happens when I click back. I'm in the exact same location as the other page or the other window with the same pin tab. Now say I wanted to click on this article and actually read the full article and I go back to this, this window. I'm on the same exact location. See, they sync, they sync between uh, both windows because it, they are a pin tab. They sync the content. But it doesn't just stop there. You can actually sync video playhead locations uh, with this. So I'm going to search for a, how about I just, how about I just go, to, go down here and find a video. All right, so now I'm going to click play here on OS X Startup Disk How To. All right, I'm just going to put my playhead in the middle of the screen just like that. Close this ad. All right, so now I'm playing this video here. Watch what happens when I click back over to the other window. Same location in the video. It keeps playing, and the music doesn't stop, or, the, you know, the sound doesn't stop. It just keeps going. Um, and I can even open up a new window, open up a new tab. All right, and I'm going to go back. And you can see, same location, just like that. That is awesome. All right, so I'm going to show you one last thing with the pin tabs. If you right-click on a pin tab, you can actually close all unpin tabs, so you can quickly curate what's open in your Safari window. Uh, so I'm going to close all unpin tabs. It closes everything but those pin tabs. And last but not least, you can right-click, and you can also unpin a tab and move it to a new window. So if there's a particular tab that you have pinned, you want to open it up in a new window and unpin it, you can do just that, just like that. So. Uh, Pin tabs are a very powerful feature in Safari, not to be overlooked. There's a lot of little idiosyncrasies and features that you'll you'll no doubt like. It's extremely different than pin tabs on a browser like Google Chrome, for instance. I mean, obviously the basic idea of a pin tab is the same, but there's a lot more features here with a Safari pin tabs in OS X El Capitan. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section, folks. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.